<laughs> yo yo welcome everyone to a brand new video and today it's time for the final race of this WR season and as you can see we are racing around Jeddah uh, very hard circuit very fun circuit to drive uh, but yeah uh, currently we are P7 in the standings of the season with uh, only one race to go um, I think we do have a chance to get P5 still but then we have to get the P2 at least I think so we will see how that goes uh, it's also very close with the cars behind us so uh, we need a good result in order to stay in the top 7 at least but for now this is our first lap in Q1 and this left hand is the corner I struggle with the most and as you can see Mr. Apex go a bit too deep and I can tell that Costa's probably between a tenth and half a tenth there um, just because I missed the Apex and I don't get that corner I think I finally found out why I'm losing a lot of time compared to other cars there. But a split was a point zero and we're doing six, a point nine. Six. So right. losing a lot of time in that final sector. And I think especially in the first left hander, because in the final left hander you can't really lose a lot of time. As it's a quite easy corner. Um, for now this is our second Q1 lap. And we're 300 down. Um, now it's almost half a tenth. But there is a lot of time in this left hander. So again, into the corner, miss the epics again and go yep. even wider. And that was qualifying <laughs> over. So we are going to start in P17. This is uh, Q3 with Otis Lawrence on pole, Isma second, and Nicholas P3. So, um, yeah, we're going to start at the back. We've had many comeback races, so hopefully this is another one. And uh, let's get into it. Here we are then at the start. And as you can see, we are going to start on the hard tires. P17, there are five red lights. And away we go. And I was just about trying to make moves as soon as we can. Um, it is the final race and we just need as many points as possible so we have to take a bit of a risk for now up one position as we got past Pookie there uh, in turn one two and now it's feeling pressure right out of us and this is a very tricky situation as Pookie almost got it down the inside there um, we were running a bit uh, higher wings than other cars I felt like so we will be fast in the first sector. Now Philip ahead of us. We're going to go down the inside. Go a bit too deep there. And we make contact. Fortunately no damage for us or Philip. Um, I just got a bit too deep. Because the tires are still very cold. Uh, at the start of the race. To a mediums. So now we're going very oh, deep again in into this corner. I just. I don't know. In, in that that day I just couldn't do it and it's a very bad timing as that was race day uh, but for now we've lost the position to Pookie um, dropping to uh, P16 but I think there was someone into the box as now there is a McLaren that's Declan Barrett who had some damage I believe uh, so he just let us all through uh, which is very nice and now it's Barry Boorman in the Ferrari on softs and we're just gonna let him go don't fight him too hard he will probably get past us anyway so um, we'll just let him go and now it is very close up ahead and I think they're almost losing the rest as the gap is starting to become quite big and yeah that's not ideal as we of course want to stay close to the leading train this is also Daniel very close to us so um, now it's gonna kick off a little bit 
and there's Shanika who's flashing as well so we might have a chance to get him on this next long straight and now we're gonna try something very tricky Bari had a moment there and he's losing some time we're gonna try to get a nose in there but we had to back out because if we kept it in there Ooh, that would have been a massive crash probably so um, looking back at it I should have just stayed behind Pookie and don't try and make some insane move uh, in there and now we're going side by side with Ike Bayana. Uh, going around your side his left hander he's getting stuck on that curb uh, which obviously bottoms your car out so um, that was not ideal, but we have still uh, maintained our 15th position. Just unfortunate that we couldn't make more moves uh, there. Safety but now Fabrizio's in the wall, and that means safety yeah, car. Box, 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 box. Minions? Yeah, you can overtake in, uh, in the pit lane. So now, as you can see, we're gonna Stop overtake up. barrier. And also Daniel sends it down, you say, he overtakes two people. But I think he crossed the white line with his right tire, so he, he got a penalty yeah. no after the race. No but we are going to box, we're going to get a fresh set of mediums. And, yeah, and I think we're going to try and uh, finish the like race the box, on yeah. this set of tires. So we'll see how that goes for now. P13, so we've so. gained one position by overtaking Bari and another mm, position yeah. by someone who might have to double stack. Uh, and now we're actually in P12, as I think Otis Lawrence was in P1. He already passed the pit lane, uh, yeah, passed the pit lane before the safety car came out. So he went the next lap, uh, which put him at the back of uh, the grid. And now our restart is so bad. But anyway. Um, Head down again, P12, so we're very close to get into the top 10 here. And now Philip around the outside, and we hit Pookie there. So Philip got past us, and now we're lifting to make sure we're not gonna overtake Pookie, as that would maybe be, maybe be a penalty. Um, So he got his position back again, so uh, luckily didn't lose any time. But now, Philip again, same corner as we did in turn one, down the inside again. This time we break in time. Philip goes a bit wide himself now, and that's us up a position. Uh, basically, got back into position we weren't. Um, so yeah, up to P12 again. And now I think cars ahead are gonna start battling very hard, as you can see. And now people go down your side, they make contact. And we get pushed off here. So we lost a position again to Philip. But now forcing him into a mistake. Philip loses his front wing. Um, so up to P10 again. And that means we are in the top 10. And possibly. Uh, getting some points, oh but now yeah, what yeah, damage? Pookie and the race over broke again, a bit rest. earlier than expected, as I think that was Isma, at least a Williams was driving ahead of him, and he had um, damage. So Pookie took it a bit more careful and want to break a bit earlier, but. Didn't need to break that early, but anyway, we've lost our front wing. Um, yeah, that's quite painful. We're just going to continue and try to stay with them. Uh, just in order something happens. But now, as you can see, cars had crashed, but that was very close there. But we just about squeezed through. For now, still in P12, even though we have an orange front wing. So it's quite painful to uh, drive like this but now uh, Pookie and Barry Borman went into the box uh, to get a fresh set of softs and they're gonna, or, or mediums and they're gonna try and make the two stop work here 
Now it's Daniel Kiel to right behind. He's going to go slightly defensive. Just to make sure he can't send it down the side. And try and block him off. Now he's using his battery again. We're going to move to the left hand side. Use a little bit. We don't want to blast too much. As we obviously have damage. And now he's running outside. Having the inside for turn 2. But it looks like we managed to stay ahead of him for now. And we can maintain our position. Our cars ahead are battling quite hard. Uh, maybe I think Nicolas has damage uh, in the Ferrari. And it looks like it's very bad damage. Much worse than we have. I think he has Nico lost both 70%. front wings. Uh, so now we're going to try and keep it around the outside, squeezing us a little bit there. Just about making no contact with him or the wall. But as you can see, we're P9. But the thing is, we obviously also have that three second time penalty. Uh, no. For cutting uh, the track. And now we hit that curb. So and it's track. Ruben who parked it in yeah, the wall. For soft. Yeah. So we're going to box for softs and get... A new front wing and now again we're gonna try and make some moves but uh, everyone was awake this time and defended a little bit but yeah we do have the three second time penalty and that's basically because of that curb and of the incident so it is unlucky but it is what it is it will stand so uh, that's unfortunate. But now, lap 23. Yeah, on the safety car restart, there will be only two laps of racing. Uh, no DRS. Uh, hopefully, you have a better restart this time. Well, we absolutely don't. We were sleeping again. Uh, but Jake is between me and Shanika, and I let him push me uh, a bit forward, which was helping me. Now, breaking. Late into the corner, Jake has the inside for this right hander, and there were two Ferraris who were Puki and Nicolas went to the wall uh, before turn one. So uh, that was not a peak performance from Ferrari. But now just gonna try and make some moves. As you can see, we do have some down, uh, like a bit more down for than the other cars in uh, sector one. And now there's a Ferrari who is Barry Boerman. And it looks like he has damage as well. Or he has very bad tires. Um, but now into this corner again. He's back on the track. And the train just completely oh stopped. Again, man. I, I can't do anything about it, man. So, yeah. Same corner. Just a bit later. We have lost our front wing again. But this time... We have lost it, uh, like fully, fully damaged. So uh, now it's very hard to, to drive. I'm uh, just going to try and stay uh, quite close as there was the, the Ferrari of Barry's spun around. Kian uh, hit him as well and he has lost a bit of his front wing as well. So now we're going to still try and defend because yeah, no you win. never know with penalties. Um, but yeah, not an ideal race with the damage we've got. Um, I would say the first one I could be a bit more careful with the second one. Uh, I couldn't now. really see Can't Barry and I he got went I think slightly again. off the track and then got back onto it. Let's go watch back uh, third one. So um, <laughs> yeah, that was just very, very unlucky I would say. Otherwise we probably could have scored some points here for sure um, but yeah this was the final race of the season we have finished P7 in the standing still so uh, it wasn't that bad hopefully I'll see you guys for the next season and I wish you guys a great day ciao